How would you feel if your kids here at this school in Kitsilano were suddenly told that they had to relocate to this school here in Strathcona? And likewise, would you be happy if you were a parent here and told the student population was about to increase by over 30%? And that's exactly what the Vancouver School Board is proposing. It wants kids in the early French immersion program at Henry Hudson Elementary in Kitts to move to Strathcona. But parents aren't happy. The school board has not given uh, adequate consideration to the impacts on uh, our school community and the school community at Strathcona. Vancouver school boards say they're responding to the high demand for their French immersion programs and that the only way to meet their demand is by combining classes and programs, even if it means relocating students across the city on a 12-kilometre round trip. But for families on both sides, the impact can be huge. When the school board uh, promises to kids um, that you're going to get to spend eight years at a school uh, doing French immersion or doing English for that matter, families make their plans and build their lives around that. We're open to change. I just feel like this is not necessarily the change. I don't think they would do this to a school uh, in, you know, in the West End. Alex Metcher is on the other end of this decision. He's got a daughter at Lord Strathcona Elementary School, but she's not his concern. He's more worried about how some of the other less advantaged kids in her class will be affected. It tends to be that the French language kids will arrive to school, you know, properly fed and clothed for the weather. They have better um, out of school opportunities. They may go on more field trips at school. And the English language kids sort of are left with uh, fewer resources by the nature of the neighborhood that we're in. Here in Strathcona, half of all residents live in low-income housing, while in Kitsilano, it's less than 15%. And while the school here could potentially accommodate extra kids, for Alec, it's about community, not numbers. If you look at the numbers for the school, yes, we do have an empty building, and it might be tempting to fill that building, but it's really important to us that the school board look at the, the individuals and the community composition and make sure that the changes aren't going to further marginalise some already marginalised kids. In an email to City News, the Vancouver School Board said, We developed three options for the board to consider, including the status quo, a phased relocation and a one-time relocation. No decision has been made yet. Before the board decides, we are hosting several public information sessions to answer questions and gather feedback. In the meantime, the Strathcona Schools Parents Advisory Council has sent an open letter to the Vancouver School Board voicing their opposition. It's due to be reviewed on April the 17th. In Vancouver, Tom Walsh, City News.